Okay, I think I'm recording, so. So today is Monday, February 5th. I wrapped up a project last week, and now my next project isn't until April 1st. The light looked cool today, so I decided to start a vlog. The only way I'm gonna be able to get to where I wanna get to is if I actually put the time and the effort in, and now I have no excuses. I've got all the time in the world, and it's time to go. I got some coffee, and I made a nice healthy breakfast because the other thing too is I need to lose some weight. <laughs> so I'm trying to be a little bit better with my food. We've got a call at one o'clock to talk to a old colleague of mine. We've got a nail appointment at two because my nails look freaking awful. I want to redo my resume and I also want to clean my room because if I'm going to vlog, I need the room to be clean and this is not clean. So yeah. As you guys probably know from the other videos on this channel, I'm really into trading cards. I collect Pokemon, I play Magic. I am kind of nerdy, I like that stuff. And so I've been buying a bunch of cards online, but um, don't do what I did, and that is rip your mail in half to get it open, because it turns out that I actually had an important tax document in the envelope behind where I got my cards, and um, yeah, I ripped that in half. So I already cleaned my room, which is great, but the next thing I need to do is work on my resume. Since like 2014, it's been the same exact resume, the same exact format since then, and it's 2024. So I think I am overdue for an update. I think one of the issues that I have with my current resume is that I have too much description. I think I'm at the point in my career where I can just let the credits speak for themselves. I don't have to actually like go in depth about what I did at every job. Like people know that if I edited on this show that I was an editor versus like if I was an assistant editor and I'm trying to move up to an editor position, I try to, you know, spice up the AE position a little bit more. I found a resume just randomly on Twitter the other day, actually, of all places. And I was like, wow, this resume actually is simple and I think it works. So I'm going to borrow some elements <laughs> from it. Time to chat. So, just got off my call with David. Great guy, I haven't spoken to him forever. He gave me so much good advice that like, simple things that like I didn't even think about, but like they were just so effective, you know? Making sure people know what you're up to. Like not even just like, hey, I worked on this. It's like, talk about the project, talk about what you're doing, what you're excited about, stuff like that. It just, I don't know, it was just very motivating for me to just continue to create my own stuff. And then when I'm actually on a project, promote that. You know, he even, mentioned that he's gonna reach out to some people he knows and see if there's any openings or anything, connect me with them and help me out. Like, people are great. Like, people are truly amazing, honestly. And that's why I always try to pay it forward when I can so that when I'm in need, I'll scratch your back, you scratch my back, that type of thing. It's, that, that's the industry. With that though, I've got about an hour until my nail appointment and I think it's time for a walk. So I think let's go do a quick little walk around the nave and go from there. make this brighter oh that is so bright in my face but it's like not bright enough if that makes sense uh, this light kind of sucks i just got back from getting my nails done nice and bright nice and red i absolutely love it so as i was leaving the nail salon i realized that the light was just absolutely perfect so i was like all right i have to call up my friend chris we're gonna go take a trip to the beach and just try to take some last minute golden hour photos. I'm gonna try to record behind the scenes with my secondary camera as well. I don't know how good that'll come out, but I just couldn't, I couldn't pass up on this light. It just was way too beautiful. So 
See you there. Hey guys, so editor Nicole here. I'm just gonna go through my camera bag and show you guys what we're gonna use on the shoot today. So my main camera is gonna be the a7 IV, which I'm using to record this, so you won't be able to see it. My B cam is going to be the Sony a6500. This is my camera that I was using a ton of. Absolutely love it. It just doesn't do great in low light, but we're gonna attach a 16 millimeter Sigma f1.4 to it, which does pretty well in low light, and I think it'll be great to record me trying to take pictures and video of Chris later. Then I'm also gonna bring 10,000 batteries because the Sony 6500 dies so fast. I might bring the 18 to 105 even though I think at f4 it's just not going to be what we need for a nighttime shoot. My trusty audio recorder is going to be a Tascam DR10L. It's a great little lav mic. Love it. My main tripod is a Manfrotto. I also have a Gorillapod but the Manfrotto pod that I have here is amazing because it actually has a quick release plate which I decided to show you how it worked while I was using the other camera and uh, heads up just don't do this with one hand because uh, only bad things will happen. Okay, that was not smart, and I deserve that. Okay, pose. <laughs> All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to lean up against that. Lightly. <laughs> I love how your hood is just like going in the wind. A seagull. Oh, a seagull. Let's get the seagull. <laughs> Wait, the hood. Move the hood back. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Oh, the seagull. The seagull. The seagull. Oh, dude, it? it was so sick. Wait, am I coming back? Wait, no, do it again. Do it again. Come back. Come back. And look at this thing. No. <laughs> okay, look at this. The, the seagull just pooped on my car. Like, are you kidding me right now? Can I just get a video of you leaning over that, just looking out into the distance? I, I got it. It should be good. All right, so we're going to try to get some cool shots from down below. All right, Chris, look up. Low battery. That's okay. I have more. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! You have fun, Chris? <laughs> oh my god. Don't forget your thing. We're gonna, I'm gonna get it, don't worry. Chris and I have to sit in the car for a second to warm up because it's, it's too nasty. Good thing I got these gloves though. They were like $10 on Amazon, Chris. You should have gotten them. My hands are cold. Yeah, they're cold. <laughs> um, so I think golden hour is now officially over, but I'm gonna wait, I think maybe 10 or 15 minutes. We're gonna try to do some twilight hour shooting. I have an idea to use the car lights as a light. It just needs to get a little bit darker. So it'll be cold, but it'll be quick. Sorry, Chris. Like this? Yeah, that's, that's sick. That's exactly what I wanted. And then we'll take a couple more. Come closer. I know it's gonna be in your eyes. Uh, okay, can you do it down there? Here? Yeah, same thing. I know, I could, yeah, that looks, that looks way cooler. I don't know, probably bird poop. I'm trying to like use the car lights here to try to get some light off of him. And I think there's some really cool things here. There's stuff like flying through the wind. Yeah, I know. All right, we'll wrap this up. Almost done, almost done. Okay, let me try getting this angle. Oh, that looks so cool. Put the phone down, but look, keep looking up at me and give me the model face. Okay, those are cool. We're done, we're done. Woo! All right, so we are back from the impromptu shoot with Chris over at the beach. One of the things that I was not very happy about was the fact that since it was so run and gun and it was so last minute, we didn't even get the full hour of golden hour to play with. It kind of gets dark so fast now that it's so hard to actually make good use of that transition from golden hour into blue hour. And especially when you're by the water, I think the sky looked absolutely gorgeous today, right around that time of the golden hour ending. But I mean, I just feel like once twilight hour starts, it's just, it's game over for the water. I can't figure out why, maybe it's just my settings or Maybe I'm not using a filter or something correctly, but I feel like the ocean never looks good on my camera. The water always looks dark and super contrasty. And I don't know, it just always feels like dirty. Like not that the water is dirty, the shot just feels dirty. I don't know how else to describe it, but. Another thing that I actually really liked about the shoot was when I told Chris to stand in front of the car and I took some shots using the headlights. Right at the end of that part, I was sort of starting to get what I wanted, but overall it's still a very good learning experience and I'm definitely really glad I went. I got a lot done. Can't complain. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.